Hey guys, in this tutorial I want to show you how you can create a freezing frame effect in the Spark AR Studio for your Instagram or Facebook filter. So when you tap on the screen, the screen or the frame freezes like this. And yeah, you can use this effect for any type of filter like a photo booth filter or any other filter you need this effect. So let's start. Hey again, so let's create a freezing frame effect here in the Spark AR Studio for your Instagram or Facebook filters. Before we start programming it in the batch editor, we have to set up our scene. For this, we have to create two rectangle objects. So, one will be the flash and the second one will be our frozen image. So I will rename them to flash and freeze. Then make sure that the flash is underneath the freeze rectangle so we can see the whole flash and not covering by the freeze rectangle. After we have done this, go to the flash rectangle and set the width to fill width and also the height to fill height. Also do this with the freeze rectangle, but here just set it to fill height and fill width and then set the width to 80 and the height to 80 and also the height to 80. So um, at the moment we don't need our flash rectangle so select it and set the visibility off. So now we just see our freeze rectangle but now it isn't centered. Let's change this, select it and then go to the right upper corner and with the alignment options make sure to align it in the center of our viewport. So after we have done this we also need two materials for our rectangles, also a flash material and the second will be of course the freeze material. Now select both of the materials and make sure you set the shader type from standard to flat. So after we have done this we can start programming our filter in the patch editor but before we can do this we need three patches we have to extract from our scene. The first is um, our device patch so for this just drag and drop the device object into the batch editor then we need the render path of our device so just select the device go to the right hand side and click on the little arrow next to render path so now you see no signal that's good but we will change this soon so and the last one we need is our camera texture so for this select the camera object then go to the right hand side texture extraction and here click on the little plus. Now you should see the camera texture in your assets panel. When you see this just drag and drop it into the patch editor. So now we have set up our scene. We, now we can start programming our filter. So at first we need um, four patches. <clears throat> we need a scene render pass patch then we need a shader render pass patch and the third one will be the delay frame patch and we also need a mix patch here for this filter now one important step is to select the delay frame and then click a uh, right click on it and here click on make receiver and you will um, create this delay frame batch. So now we have most of the batches we need. The most important ones are already there. We have to start connecting our patches in the right way. So at first we start here with this scene render pass um, to wire up this. So the output, the object output of the device patch goes into the scene object input of the scene render pass. The camera texture RGBA output goes into the input, into the background input of the scene render pass. So now we are continuing with the mix patch. Here we need our RGBA output of the camera texture. This goes into the first input. In the second input belongs the delay frame output. And the output of our mix patch goes into the shader input of the shader render pass. And the shader render pass output goes into the render pass input of the delay frame. So after we have done this, we need our device screen output because the scene render pass output um, 
goes into the screen output of our device patch. And now we can see in the viewport that we have, yeah, a signal again. But yeah, it doesn't look right at the moment because we have to set up our freeze. So click on the freeze material, go to the right hand side to the um, shader properties and click on the little arrow next to texture. After clicking on it, you will see this patch in the patch editor and now just connect the output of the shader render pass to the input of the patch we just created. So after this, go to the um, go to your canvas to the freeze rectangle and set the material of the freeze to the freeze um, yeah to the freeze material of course. So just restart your filter and now you will see in the freeze frame you will also see our camera. So but now we want that we click on when we tap on the screen that this frame here got yeah, frozen. So for this we need a screen tap patch of course and also we need a switch patch. Now connect the gesture state output of the screen tab to the turn on input of the switch and the output of the switch goes to the alpha of the mix patch. And now restart the filter and when we click now on our screen the frame should freeze. So yeah it does exactly this but to yeah make it a little bit more appealing we also want to do this flash animation. For this go back to your flash rectangle we just disabled and turn on the visibility again and then set the material to the flash material. The flash material should be a default white. Um, yeah, as you can see it is, but yeah, it's covering the whole screen, but we will change this. So for this we need two pulse patches and also a delay patch and a switch patch and we also have to um, to go to the have to go to the flash um, rectangle go to the right hand side and click on the little um, arrow next to visible to extract the visibility into the batch editor now wire up this correctly like this um, the path with the delay goes into the turn off of the switch and the single pulse patch goes into the turn on of the switch and the output goes of course into the input of the visibility patch of the freeze and now you also have to set up a duration of the flash I set it to 0.2 so that means when we tap on the screen the flash appears to uh, 0.2 seconds or more or less the yeah just a white canvas appears 0.2 seconds but this is enough to simulate a flash so and now when we tap on the screen it should there should be a flash and the um, screen freezes so yeah this was this was the magic about the freezing frame effect in the Spark AR Studio I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I could help you and yeah See you in the next video. Bye!